Hi, this is Naomi with Sword and Steel, and today's video is going to be on a request from one of our patrons, the Model Color Wood Green by Vallejo. I haven't particularly tried this one before, so I'm going to be experimenting with it in the video um, and commenting as I go, so I hope you enjoy. <laughs> So I've got this crate set that I primed with Vallejo Mecca Ivory through the airbrush um, and the crates are from Mantic Games, one of their out of their terrain crates. And I've got this brand new WizKids rowboat and oars little kit. But before I try this boat, I'm going to try these crates with just a little shade brush. Do, do, do. I already got it out just a moment ago, so we'll just put it all over these crates and see what color we come out with. It's very nice shade of brown, and the crates also have a bit of texture to them as well, so that makes it much easier to do an instant wood effect. to do, 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 do so it should be really easy this is one where it's easier for you to put on way too much and then soak it up with your brush as you're going so that you don't miss any spots because it'd be easy to miss spots and I am going to cover up all of the paper rather than try to avoid it I'll just go back over with um, a pale color if I want to make the paper template or label, I guess. Maybe? It doesn't seem like it's a label. Something, whatever it is. Oh, it's uh, this is really taking a, a lot of this paint. I like to go up, down. Start at the top and work my way down, basically. Since it wants to go down anyway with gravity. Might as well. Uh, you want to have a light primer underneath it and you want to go quickly because you don't want it to dry and leave a line of dried paint versus wetter paint down it. So just go quickly, cover it all, and then look for pooling to finish it up. And it would, if you don't think you could go fast, and just make certain you choose like one crate at a time in my case. Those look like nice crates. Let's see if I can take that off. Do, 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 do. All right, crates done, out of the way. All right, let's see if it soaks up the paint like the crates did. So. Looks like the wood grain on this is much less defined than on the Mantic Games crate, so we're gonna have to be more careful. Um, yeah, we're gonna have to be way more careful. Hmm. Okay, uh, let me get, let me just get some of this off the brush, I guess. Uh, okay. I love this color though. So pretty. Such a pretty brown. Make a nice brown here too. Chestnut? I don't know the colors of brown here. Chestnut? I think I would, but I don't. Um get in there. Get in there. Uh yeah, that's better. Into the edges, into the edges, into the edges. Oh, I'm making bubbles. Don't hit the bubbles. Slow down. Don't hit the bubbles. All right. Keep going. Do 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 do. Squish it. Squish it to the edges. Squish it to the edges. And there we go. Da, 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 da. 
Now, that is the inside. I really, really want to paint the outside too. I should not paint the outside. I should let it dry and paint the outside after. I should definitely let it dry and paint the outside after. Oh, but why do I feel this overwhelming need to paint it all? That's silly. So, but first I need to do the bottom. Okay, first I need to do the bottom. Do, 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 do. It, which doesn't particularly matter because no one's going to see this. Uh, why would I paint the bottom if no one's going to see it? Answer me that. And I'm going to get it all over my fingers. Eh. Okay. Feels like I should have tweezers. Okay, so yeah, you just glue it in really. Oh, it just rests in there. How tiny. Um, super glue. You'd glue that in too. I'm not going to. But you would. I'm just gonna gently lay it in there and let the paint do the work for me. Then if I ever need to, for some unknown reason, maybe to age it a bit, I can just pull it on out again. And it will definitely work fine. Okay. Push that to the edges. Don't, no, 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 don't touch it. Don't touch it while it's drying. Don't, don't touch it while it's drying. Let it dry. The only thing that you can do is pull up little things if you missed. The shadow is the same, so anything in shadow, I'm okay having more of it there. Smooth yourself down, smooth it down. Don't want weird drying things. Smooth it down, smooth it down. No drying strangely. And now the last one. Alright. Now I should wait for everything to dry. These crates should be all dry. I kind of like them just as they are. I mean, I could do something with them, but you know, for just D and D terrain, doing a second layer with shadows anywhere the there feels like there should be a shadow, and here there should be a shadow, and there. How about on top? Let's make this this less uniform as well. But how? Okay, maybe shadow up here. That looks good. And shadow there. And shadow there. Shadow right here. Shadow here. There. Mm -hmm. there we go. Um, leave that to dry before I do anything else with it. And now, now you. A couple stains there that I should have been more careful with, as you can see. But that should be all right since I'm gonna do this part darker. Do 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 definitely want matte so this is a matte black air um by the army painter with it being as if it were a darker wood anyway, so that's fine. I'm not doing the sides of it yet. I'm just gonna get this plane of them done first. Then I'll go back and do their sides in a moment. Yeah, this should be 
looks good. Look, and you can kind of see if you want it to be like a more modern boat that enjoys the white side, that it would look really good if it, you left it white there. I'm not going to leave it white, but if you did leave it white, this off-white, I don't think you need to go um, complete, even though in reality you want it to look white, right? If you wanted a white boat, in reality you think you would use white, but you wouldn't. You'd use cream. It'll look more natural than something that is pure white, because your eyes rarely see pure white. Uh, particularly out in the daytime, you're actually seeing some other color that your mind thinks is white, but it's not actually white. Here are the crates after they have dried completely, and I have added back some Mecca Ivory Primer over those labels so that I can draw some sort of picture or writing on them later. Not right now, I'll do that in a later video. Here is the bottom of the boat, painted a single coat of the wood grain. Now that it is dry, I add the black trim around the edges. I do this upside down so that if um, gravity fights my hand, it pulls the brush down into empty space instead of across my model. Though even if I did make a slash of black accidentally across the model, that's an easy enough fix since it's a transparent um, liquid paint, I could easily wash out my brush very quickly and with the damp brush sweep away any of the mistakes that I make. It's not difficult to fix this, particularly since it's black on brown, which meld together nicely. I could leave it as is, but I decided to add some more depth with another layer of wood grain, but only where the black meets the wood basically in the corners, in all of the various corners of the boat, except for the bottom of the boat, which definitely seems shadowed enough on its own. And here's what the boat looks like when I have it done and dried. The I put um, basically two layers of the matte black over all the black parts. You want to be careful so it doesn't rub off, particularly when it's just drying, though that would probably work okay since you've got um, cream underneath, but if you're want, gonna want to varnish it particularly if you're using it as a Dungeons and Dragons piece, and I would probably go with a matte varnish or a matte set, a matte satin varnish to, because uh, I don't think I would want it any more glossy than what it is, unless I wanted it to look like it is a soaking wet boat. But that is what it looks like. Does it look like wood? How about if we put it on this piece of wood? And uh, then here are the little, little oars. Boop. Which I only did one coat on them. And in all of these little areas, I just make certain to shadow in the the, the uh, recessed parts and leave the um, raised areas more bright because I think that would look more natural. And uh, on the edges, I gave a second coat to just this area down here to bring it, uh, and also in this area right here, uh, just to give more depth to the look of the boat. And if you wanted more depth, I think you'd just be able to put another layer on top of that because it does get darker. Um, of course, it gets dark to the point of what this looks like, the more layers you put on. So you've got some freedom with what to do it. And this is using only two colors. Well, besides primer, using only two colors to get a nice boat. And here are the crates. I'll be, as I said, I'll probably be putting a uh, little scroll work on the tags that are there, um, but that'll be in a different video. And I actually have a tool that I'm going to try out to do that, so you should subscribe to the channel if you want to see that. That'll likely be then within the next three videos. It's going to be doing tiny little details with something that will hopefully, hopefully help. It looks really useful, anyway. Okay. This is what it looks like from a distance. 
on your table to your players. You could highlight it. Uh, make certain that you mix in the wood grain with whatever color you want to highlight just to make it easier on yourself to match um, the color properly to whatever a highlight would be. Uh, I think something with a tiny bit more of a golden orange for a highlight would work well. But um, I, I think at this point you'd only want to do like touch highlights, dot spot highlights rather than line highlights. I think that would be a bit too much since uh, it does well on its own. That's, those are my thoughts anyway. Here we are. Okay, let me know what you think of it. Uh, if you had any questions that I didn't cover in the video about the wood grain, uh, you should let me know in the comments below and I will catch you in next video. Okay, I'm done. I'm done.